Hello guys, I hope y'all are doing well. Today I wanted to make a quick video on tips I have for maximizing your productivity when it comes to coding. So I wanted to make this video due to the fact that I've seen a lot of people get lost or even myself get lost when trying to code. This happens even more when you have started working for a long period of time. For example, I've been studying web development and front-end development for the last 10 months. And lately I haven't seen myself being a little bit more lazy, not doing as much, not studying as much. And that basically translates to not getting work done, not getting money, which is very bad. If your objectives are like getting a job or actually doing a project that works for people and getting money out of that. Or maybe you just love front-end development and you just want to provide solutions to people via coding. So I came up with some tips that hopefully will help you get better at structuring your time and be better at coding overall. So the first one is, if you're watching right now, don't overthink too much of the code. I used to overthink a lot what I was going to do and what I was going to execute and what my goals were but I wasn't really doing as much coding. So rather than trying to overthink everything over and over again, just for example, let's close everything. And what we will do, we'll do Windows VS Code. And there we go, we have it open. Uh, with the shortcuts I showed you in this previous video, you can just quickly, I don't know, search for home or search for your to-dos with this extension that I will leave you the video that I did on my extensions right here. For example, these to-do extensions, what I will do is just get here, see what to-dos I have. It seems like I have four to-dos. Let's grab this one and to do when a white background is detected or the about section is on screen, change the nav item color to zero, zero. So let's go to edge. I don't know. First thought that comes to my mind is chat GPT to see if there is any suggestions from chat GPT. For example, let's copy and paste this to see if he has any suggestions. Well, since I haven't explained to the chat itself what the code is and what the structure is, it will most likely give me a wrong answer in the fact that it doesn't know if I'm using TypeScript, it doesn't know if I'm using React, it doesn't know if I'm using Bootstrap. But still, from what I'm seeing at the moment, it seems to be pretty valid code. Maybe I will read this code after finishing the video and actually apply it. But as you were able to see, I was able to quickly launch BS code, launch the server. Well, I didn't launch the server uh, itself. So I will run it right here, npm run dev. And there we go, we have it running. And now I have a suggestion from ChatGPT. This is something that I always use. Actually, ChatGPT isn't that good but it is very good at answering very specific questions but lately i haven't seen a lot of errors within chat gpt but it's a good starting point if you don't know where to start searching for so rather than searching in stack overflow or any other different platform i will suggest chat gpt at first to see if the code works if it doesn't then move on or try figuring it out yourself because this to do is actually something that is quite basic on JavaScript and you can figure out. But yeah, that was to give you the example on how you can quickly like stop thinking and you just open BS code and open the server and just do the research on a to do you may have. So yeah, do not overthink before coding, just get into the coding. This next one is a very important one, one that I've struggled a lot with because I am a quote unquote perfectionist. I love to have everything like super optimized with the best accessibility features and the best performance go out my way to get a PNG image or a regular JPEG image and move it to SVG, transform it. And that is good as long as you are not in a deadline or you are set out to launch a product on a certain time. For example, if somebody or a company or maybe you're working with a company asks you to do a certain task, do it and make sure it works. After that, you can ask them, hey, this isn't the best way to do it. Would you allow me more time to see if I can optimize it? or something similar? Because the key point here is that by refactoring, by saying, 
all right i have this function toggle maybe i can put it in a different object or component to make sure it is run and i have everything organized what i can do is just leave it there working and maybe if in the future after it is working i want to make it look better or make sure it is more organized or i don't know maybe if a company asks you to maybe optimize the code better then do so but don't try refactoring everything like if you were able to fetch an api and you wanted to make it very complex have everything very organized and connected through the files i've usually seen that it breaks up your code and actually makes the code non-functional because connecting through components and so on could be a little bit difficult sometimes so yeah don't refactor a lot a two hour task shouldn't take you six hours so if they're saying do this for this date do it and make sure it works worry about the optimization and performance later this next one is a very key one one that i haven't low-key applied yet because i'm now starting to make my little libraries with navbar functions for example this navigation bar this is just a quick copy and paste and it will work on every bootstrap related project so what i can quickly do is for example if i have a different bootstrap project i will do open recent and maybe search here if i have any project that will do is just copy and paste this Control c and then copy it over to a different project this is good because you don't have to rethink redo reapply the things that you already know and you already did for example i used to start a lot of my projects by for example if i wanted to make a bootstrap navbar i will do bootstrap navbar and i will search it maybe 5.0 and here i'll start watching i'll start seeing some examples and i'll say all right i'll copy this one because this one has a drop down menu and i will do copy and paste here and then i will have to change all the code with the navbar and apply the the react bootstrap thing which are like the components as you can see it's not the same this is because there is a library or a package for react bootstrap so it is different for example rather than me searching for a navbar on their official site what i can do is go back to a project i use react and bootstrap with and copy and paste this code and then with this working code that i already written and know exactly how it works I can just quickly implement it into a different page so yeah please whenever possible reuse components and of course you're not going to make a copy of the same page so just change the things you want and the functionality will be there because you have already written the full code so yeah a super useful one the next one is a quick one which is to use tools extensions and so on Basically, things that make you enjoy your work better or the things that make you faster when coding. For example, the little things like extensions or maybe a font or maybe a theme, things that actually attract you to writing code and actually make you better at coding, which are extensions, themes, fonts, a workspace. For example, if you are able to have two monitors or if you're already working in tech or you already have a job and you really want to invest more on your job, I know that having two monitors is very good because you can actually see your page on the different monitor and the full code or even make this two-sided and you are then able to work on two different components at the time and have your web browser syncing on the other monitor. So those are tools you can invest in or not even having to really invest. Like for example, extensions, all of them are free. Well, on this library, I don't know, I bet that there are some paid extensions like, I don't know, tab nine, premium and so on. But the really useful ones and the ones that you can see change quicker are in extensions. So making those investments can really help you leverage your code because it will make you feel more comfortable. It will make you feel happier and it will actually speed up your code as for example, extensions do. So yeah, invest on tools, make sure that you know your shortcuts, make sure that you have good extensions, make sure that you have a font that you like, make sure that you have a theme that you like and so on. If there is any tool you really like and you feel like it is going to improve your coding or how comfortable you are when 
coding, please do so. Do the investment. So this next and last one is very similar to the not refactoring one, which is to not try learning everything too quickly. Well, I'll give you an example of myself. I'm making a big project for a small size company and they wanted to have their Facebook post displayed on a page. So every time that they post something on Facebook, it is automatically shown on their web page. So as you may have thought of by hearing that project or that idea, I had to learn databases, which is back end. And I am a front end developer with absolute no experience in back end. So what I had to do is quickly see, hey, what is the quickest way I can have this database set up so that it can take all the posts and so on. I found Firebase, I found Node.js, I found another cloud storage backend implementation. I tried first with Firebase. I feel like it was too complicated, too weird. It never actually worked. But then I found that Node.js was actually very similar to JavaScript. And I'm actually getting really good at JavaScript lately. So what I decided to do was go full on for literally it took a day for me to learn Node.js because it was very similar to JavaScript and I was able to set up the database and actually write the Facebook post to a .json. So now that I've learned that and actually applied the knowledge that I gained from quickly learning Node.js and what I wanted to do with Node.js, I was able to have that issue solved. Now I'm working with the styling part of the post, which is very good. Actually, if there is something, if there is a package, if there is a framework that is able to do something quicker for you, even if you feel like you didn't learn everything, please use that package or use that framework. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to write the most complex code in C++ so your friend will be impressed. Like nobody is impressed that you have written a thousand, two thousand, three thousand lines of code on something that would have been done with a framework in 30, 50, 100 lines. I'm exaggerating here, but please, if there is a package, if there is a framework that makes something easier to do, please use it and apply it, make sure it's working and then move on to the next task. Because at the end of the day, as a front end developer, what you want to do is launch projects, launch helpful things for people, launch solutions to problems. So yeah, well, that is my take. I hope you have the same take. I hope you are not in the mindset of, oh, I want to make everything better and just super optimize and in just one line of code. But for you to do that one line of code and for you to optimize so much, it will take you a lot of time to learn and to apply different concepts and different functions and different packages and so on. So if there's something that, for example, ex Express.js, which makes Node.js easier to navigate and so on. So what we'll do is just install the package, for example, here, I'll do npm install express, I think it was. Uh, I don't really know, actually, uh, I don't remember, but I think it was, let me check on the package.json and let's see which search for express. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see. Fast and optimal minimalist uh, web framework and expressjs.com. So yes, it was, this is expressjs. So this is something that I can quickly install and quickly apply into a JS file. And I don't have to do the whole server behind and the whole thing behind that will take a lot of time. So yeah, so yeah, now to get it clear for this example specifically, don't try learning everything too quickly. Specialize on something specific and if there is something that you need to get done, try doing it as quickly as possible with the frameworks or packages you can search for that specific problem. So yeah. And another thing, please learn what you're interested in. With the example I gave you before about applying frameworks and packages and so on, that is to avoid you getting too deep into technologies you may not want to really learn. For example, I myself don't really want to get deep in backend at the moment. I really want to get 
really good at front-end development. So if there is a project I need to do with some backend, what I will do is use Express.js, use Node.js, and everything I had that seems the quickest solution. And I will be able to focus on what I like the most, which is TypeScript, which is React, and everything front-end related. Uh, so yeah, that is the other explanation I wanted to give you about the last subject. So yeah, that is all I wanted to let you guys know for today. If there is any other productivity tip you may have, I would also love to learn from you guys. I always love the comments you guys leave on the videos because it helps me improve. It helps me learn and it helps me at the end of the day being a better programmer, which is what I want. And with your comments, other people is able to see them and learn from the subject we are talking about on the specific video that there is. For example, this one, which is related to productivity. So yeah, feel free to leave any comment you may have on your mind. And I'm always super thankful for any comment you guys may leave. So yeah, that was all for today. I hope you all stay safe and see you guys the next time. Bye.